Uh, thank you. Uh, Honorable Senators, the evidence which was uh, brought to the board by Honorable Senator Okech, Eddie, I will stand the, the evidence, I will look at it keenly and communicate at an appropriate time whether it satisfies the requirements of our standing orders. Therefore, that matter will not be revisited this afternoon. I'll take time to go through it. I'm now well versed with the issues that you released yesterday. So I'll take time to go through it and bring uh, some uh, report to this house. Let's proceed, Senator. Uh, Senator Okech, and uh, Mr. Speaker, thank you for giving opportunity to contribute on this motion. Uh, the bullfighter, senior Senator Boni Alwale started by saying that uh, if something is good and you can make it better, then make it better. But I also want to say that if something, if something is, is really good, that it can stay good, make it just stay good. Because some of these motions that we seek to introduce in the House, Mr. Speaker, are forgetting the fundamental reasoning behind some of these standing orders. Standing order number 34, on the hours of meeting, Mr. Speaker, if you read standing order number 34, uh, 5, says that a motion under paragraph 4 shall be moved at least 30 minutes before the time appointed of adjournment. Now, if you start from 4, it says notwithstanding paragraph 1 and 2 of standing order number 34, the Senate may resolve to extend its sitting time may resolve, meaning that if there is indeed so, a substantive issue... So which which uh, I, I give you time to contribute to the debate. Yes, I'm, I'm contributing to the debate. I thought you on another matter which is... Yeah, can, you, can you be relevant? No, I am not supporting the motion. Okay? The motion is afforded by the majority. That's what we are discussing. Yes. Uh, yes. I give you time to contribute, you know, to, to talk about Senator Mboni Karwale and others. You know, no, just be specific. Mr. Mr. Speaker, maybe, maybe I think maybe you are still look, examining my evidence. You did not get my... No, I'm uh, not yet there with the evidence. <laughs> I'll take time. <laughs> because I, did, I think you did not get my opening I'll formula. Take my time. I was saying... Uh, I, I was saying that this motion attempts to actually change some of the faction, I mean, some of the provisions of uh, standing order number 34, uh, for which they are already so good that I don't think that this house does need to have meeting hours uh, added to such, such, such days as, as Wednesday. And I was trying to say that if there is actually a very serious issue, that needs to be considered with extra hours or an extra sitting, our standing orders already provides for that. And that's why I was saying that the, the standing order number 34 is actually um, a very well laid out standing order to the extent that the fears that uh, the majority brings through this motion are already taken care of by this, uh, by this uh, standing order. Uh, to the extent that if there is a motion, and, and we have seen this, Mr. Speaker, even at, at instances whereby we have got adjournment motions um, and even any other motion, where using this standing order, you can actually extend the time of a sitting or you can actually seek for another, uh, a different sitting. Uh, that's why I was saying that this is already so good that there's no need of interfering with it. And the purpose for this, Mr. Speaker, is because the functionality of any House of Parliament is best done in committees. And I think that by design of committees, examination of issues is well catered for, 
being able to interrogate matters is well catered for. And some of, some of these committees that we have in this house, Mr. Speaker, are doing a better job in terms of uh, our oversight role and any other role that we do. Today, Mr. Speaker, actually, uh, my sister, uh, Senator Tabitha, who is uh, the vice chair of uh, the Committee on Finance and Budget, spent almost four hours when we are dealing with matters of equalization fund, which is a, a serious fund that uh, uh, under Article uh, 204 of the Constitution has not gone to counties. But at the same time, Senator Rabitha and myself, who are, in, who are members of that committee, are in CPIC. And in CPIC, Mr. Speaker, uh, today we also are examining very important issues with regards to investment uh, of, of the water company in Kisi. The governor of Kisi had traveled all the way from Kisi and uh, came to that committee, and we could not get even enough time to be able to serve in both committees. And uh, if, if we try to uh, attempt to take time out of uh, committees and try to put it on this plenary, Mr. Speaker, I think that we will be losing the point of the functionality of this House. And this is one of those issues, uh, fellow Senators, that I want to urge us to not just be following you know, our sides of the Houses, that this is a majority issue or a minority issue. This is one of the issues that, as my colleague Senator, Senator Kajuang had talked about, is a procedural issues. Procedural issues, for the time we have spent in this House, then become experiential issues. When we are making determination about this particular motion, let us make it based on the experiences that we have had, and let us make it on the basis that that experience already speaks to what we see as senators to be uh, a formula that works in terms of effectiveness and efficiency on uh, uh, making sure that we are contributing to our function in this house. And for me, I want to urge you, and I want to urge us that this is, this is, this is something that I, I don't support and I hope, I, I hope we don't support uh, because we don't want to take time out of committees and in as much as we have got important motions to do here, if you have got a motion that you really care about as uh, Senator Gloria or any other senator's motion who might be uh, sitting without getting attention, let's explore standing order number 34, 4 and 30, uh, all the way to, to 5 and 6 so that you can be able to seek for a, a, a sitting that can allow that, that particular motion to be, to be dealt with. That way then we will make this house more effective. With that, Mr. Speaker, I wish to oppose this motion and encourage my, my fellow senators to be experiential in making this particular determination um, to the effect of supporting or not supporting this motion. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, thank you. Senator Danson Mungatana Buya. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I stand to support the motion by the majority leader. Mr. Speaker, I wanted to state maybe 